right, folks, Jason Ballas with OutdoorProductReview.com, continuing on with the 2013 bow review. Uh, first off, let's thank our sponsors. We got Trophy Ridge. We're using that whisker biscuit on all our bows. Um, you know, we got True Fire releases right here. Uh, the Hardcore Max. You know, if you're using a loop release, I definitely you guys need to try one of these. I've never had one fail on me. Uh, Sick of Gear. You know, the best hunting line uh, clothing that you could find out there, and I. Like I've said before, you guys need to go check them out, buy a piece, and you, you won't be disappointed. Easton Arrows. Easton has come on board this year to be our arrow sponsor, and we really appreciate that. We're using that 444 grain injection. Um, the next thing we have is Binopack. Binopack is a binocular carrying harness system. Um, you guys could go to binopack.com, just look at the 2013 bow review on our site, and they have the link to the sponsors up above. It's a great system. It beats all those other ones that are just a piece of leather and some uh, some bungee cords, if you will. And uh, it, it's it just takes the weight off your shoulders. They got a backpack system that can connect to it. So you guys need to check them out because it's a great product and it's something I believe in. All right, like I said, we're continuing on with our 2013 bow review. And uh, you guys have seen this before, but Expedition, our first bow we did this year, they sent us their X-Ring 6. Now the X-Ring 7, you guys know, was a great all-around shooting bow. It was just, I loved the way it looked. And I called him and I said, hey, I've got to take a look at this X-Ring 6 because this thing, you know, this is their speed bow. And uh, it's IBO is up to 348. Now, um, you know, I, lo I loved the way that the X-Ring 7 shot. It was just like shooting a dream. And uh, I definitely... I'm excited to check this one out. You know, their, their draw lengths on this can go from 27 to 30 inches. Um, you know, and you don't need to have a uh, module because it has its own draw, draw length modules in there. So you can adjust that. Um, this one they sent out, they asked me what color I wanted. And I said, well, it doesn't matter. Whatever you guys want to send. So they sent a molten black riser with the uh, real tree camel limbs. And to tell you the truth, that's just cool looking all the way around. I mean, you hold it up here and it disappears in the woods behind me. I put a real tree trophy uh, ridge rest on there, sort of break it up, if you will. Um, they, you know, the thing about their bow is they have that that arced sort of cable roller system here or cable slide that uh, doesn't allow for the uh, torque on the. It's, it says right at four pounds, but it doesn't feel four pounds to me. It's nice and light feeling. They got the dual, the dual wood grips on both sides of the riser uh, with that molten black in there. It sort of holds your hand in place. Draw stops in there you can adjust to uh, ensure that you perfectly set up your, your bow to your specifications. Um, you know, they got the STS or the, the, the cable or the string suppressor system on there set up with the limb saver dampener right near the riser to absorb any shock. They got the split limb dampeners from limb saver on there. Um, you know, their, their, their limb pockets are, you know, it looks like it's barely holding it in there, but they have a, uh, limb pocket that just sets in there perfect to make sure that your limbs are aligned. It's perfectly measured to make sure they're going back straight. No problems with any kind of tiller hide or anything on there. And, uh, just overall, like the X-Ring 7, is a great looking bow. Brace height on here is only six and a quarter. You know, 75% let off. You're going to get a little bit more speed and, uh, I hope that it shoots and pulls and draws and everything just like the X-Ring 7 because that was a great shooting bow. So without further ado, why don't we go ahead and we're going to do the draw test. We'll shoot it through the chrono. Uh, we'll shoot, you know, we'll shoot it, see how it feels. Shoot it through the chrono and then give you your final thoughts. So let's do that draw test. Okay, so I set up the bow last night. Got it all on the laser and everything. Haven't drawn it back. Um, go ahead and put that uh, True Fire release in there. Do the draw test here. Well, it was smooth, just like the X-Ring 7. Comes with a solid wall. Let's creep forward just a hair. Yeah, you can go a good bit. It doesn't, it doesn't want to jump out of your hands. I mean, you have at least maybe, maybe a quarter inch in there you can pull, but it's not hard. It doesn't rip your shoulder out of a socket. Coming solid. Move my hand, it doesn't torque. Let's go ahead and shoot this bow. Touching my fingers here, I want you guys to watch this. We'll put it in slow motion so you can see. But solid wall. Bow didn't go anywhere. Just stayed right there. It rolled back just a little bit, but not even 
didn't roll back massive. It just rolled back just a little bit and settled right back down. Super, super quiet. That was cool. It definitely shot, shot really, really nice. No hand shock whatsoever, no noise. All right, let's watch this shot in slow motion, then we're gonna shoot through the chrono. I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, folks, as you see, we're doing the X-Ring 6 here, and I have changed clothes a little bit. Uh, it's because when I was doing the draw cycle, the draw was actually shorter than 29 inches. So, uh, you know, I, I had edited together a review, and then I was looking at it, and I didn't think there was something right on it. So I went and I checked with the manufacturer, and it turns out that I was about an inch and a half short on the draw length. So that's why my arm was really cocked. But I have it all set up now. Um, it's right at 29 inches, that 444 grain arrow. We're going to shoot it through the chronograph and get that true speed. Then we'll give you our final thoughts, and uh, I think you guys will be excited. All right, shooting that uh, 444 grain arrow through the X-Ring 6 from Expedition Archery. 295 feet per second. All right, folks, there you saw it. 295 feet per second. Um, lightning fast, Expedition Archery, first year ever out. Um, you know, I needed to make sure that I checked the draw lengths on it. Uh, when I came in, I felt a little short on the review, um, but definitely a smooth shooting bow. First year out, 295 feet per second. That's the fastest bow that we have in the review this year, and that's with a 444 grain arrow. So I'm telling you, if you guys get a chance to shoot the X-Ring 6, go do it. It is a great shooting bow. Um, it's going to be the bow that I'm going to be keeping this year. Uh, this is our last bow review for the year. And, uh, I, you know, like I said, check out their website. You guys will see it down below, Expedition Archery. And I uh, see what they have. They have the X-Ring 7. It's a smooth shooter, great shooting bow, long brace height, shorter brace height on the X-Ring 6. You get more speed. And uh, definitely an overall outstanding shooting bow. Tell you guys, if you guys haven't checked them out, go to their website. Once again, for Outdoor Product Review, I'm Jason Ballas. We'll see you guys on our next bow review.